In this short video, we will discuss about multi-tenancy aspects with Victilla. With release 17.2, we have an option to deploy a multi-tenant vManage infrastructure. This is a very important feature, especially for managed service providers, who can now provision, control, manage, and orchestrate separate SD WAN infrastructures for each of their customers and still manage them from a single dashboard, something like a network as a service offering. In this mode, we have a single vManage NMS and a single vBond orchestrator. Each customer is configured as a separate tenant with their own vSmart controllers and vH devices. However, every tenant shares the same vManage and vBond. A point to note is that we cannot migrate an existing single tenant vManage into a multi tenant infrastructure. Let's log in and have a look at the multi tenant vManage. This is the default dashboard and it is slightly different from the single tenant vManage dashboard. This is called the provider dashboard and it displays a summary of the status of all the tenants that are being managed by the vManage server. To display tenant specific summary information, we can click the tenant name in the list on the lower part of the screen and it provides additional information about the tenant status. The provider dashboard doesn't have any policy options as these will be available within the respective tenants. The device type shows just the details of the vSmart controllers configured for each tenant. Under administration, however, you will now find a new tenant management tab. This is where we define the tenants and associate them to the unique organization name. All tenants share the service provider's domain name, lab.local in this case, with each tenant having a subdomain name to identify the tenant, like cust1.lab.local, cust2.lab.local, and so on. From the provider name drop down, we can log on to a specific tenant. Let's log into cust1 tenant. This looks to be a familiar dashboard, like a single tenant vManage dashboard with all the details we expect to see, like the control status, the site health, the device health, the inventories, the DPI, the flows, and parameters like latency, jitter, and packet loss. Of course, we do not see the status of the vBond and the vManage here as it is shared across the tenants. Here we can define our templates and policies which will be applicable to tenant cust1. The device tab shows the VHS and vSmart associated for that tenant. Similarly, we can choose to log into a CUS2 tenant from the provider dropdown and see all the parameters related to CUS2 environment. In a typical multi tenant scenario, the individual tenant dashboard will be exposed using different URLs and will have their own user management. Let's try that out. Let me log into customer1 dashboard using https cust1.lab.local. I have the required DNS entries for this to work and this is how an MSP can provide access to the customers to the respective vManage portals. I have a credential created for customer1 tenant and I will use that to log into this dashboard. So once I log in, this is the dashboard that the end customer would see and he will use this dashboard to manage his infrastructure. Here we can define our own policies and templates uh, which, is, which will be pertaining only to that tenant. Let's go to the network and here you can see that he can only see the devices pertaining to his uh, tenant. Similarly, let's try to log into uh, the customer2 tenant. So cust2.lab.local. And let's use a cust2 tenant credential to log in to this dashboard. Yeah, and this is the customer2 dashboard and he only sees the devices which are pertaining to his network. Thus, the multi-tenant feature of Viptilla provides a great capability for MSPs to offer SD-WAN as a service to its customers. That's it for this demo and thanks for watching.